Every gun that is made, every warship launched, every rocket fired signifies in the final sense a theft from those who hunger and are not fed, those who are cold and are not clothed. The supreme quality for leadership is unquestionably integrity. Without it, no real success is possible, no matter whether it is on a section gang, a football field, in an army, or in an office. If men can develop weapons that are so terrifying as to make the thought of global war include almost a sentence for suicide, you would think that man's intelligence and his comprehension would include also his ability to find a peaceful solution. Here in America, we are descended in blood and in spirit from revolutionists and rebels, men and women who dare to dissent from accepted doctrine. As their heirs, we may never confuse honest dissent with disloyal subversion. If you want total security, go to prison. There you're fed, clothed, you're given medical care, and so on. The only thing lacking is freedom. If the United Nations once admits that international disputes can be settled by using force, then we will have destroyed the foundation of the organization in our best hope, establishing a world order. Neither a wise man nor a brave man lies down on the tracks of history to wait for the train of the future to run over him. This world of ours must avoid becoming a community of dreadful fear and hate and be, instead, a proud confederation of mutual trust and respect.